Good Tuesday morning to each of you. I hope you are having a great week and enjoying your morning. As I was heading to work this morning, I realized, oh my goodness, I have to do my video today. But I am wearing a Kirksville Trek and Field t-shirt. I'm not very dressed up for my video. And then I pieced together kind of as my coworkers reminded me. So Sunday, we recognized the graduates. We recognized our graduating seniors, but we also recognized our college graduates. And between the two, we had, um, not only did I get to recognize one of our former high school graduates, who is a graduating college student, but then I also got to recognize our seniors. And I tell you, that is always such an exciting time, but also very emotional. Now, I know each of the parents are going, mm-hmm, right. But when these children come into our children and youth program, Mama Bear kind of um, takes on an, a role. So they may not be mine, but they're mine. And Miss Teresa takes a loving interest in the life of every one of these children. So it's always very exciting for me to recognize them on Senior Recognition Sunday because I get the lovely pleasure of watching them grow. And many of the children in this church, especially the ones that we recognized Sunday, I have watched grow since they were very small grade schoolers. Um, and it's very precious to me. And I'm guessing very precious to many of you. I'm always telling parents, it takes a village. You know, it takes us all. Watching out for one another, watching out for one another's children. It takes us all. But I truly believe it, it takes the village of the church. It takes the village of our church to raise these children in faith and make them feel loved. That's a discussion that the children and I always have in confirmation, which is coming up this Sunday. So what exciting weekends we get to have back to back, Senior Recognition Sunday and then Confirmation Sunday. But I always talk about with the confirmands, how supported do you feel in your church? Do you know how cared for you are by this community? And then we discuss how important a church family is and that, yes, your relationship with your Heavenly Father is your basis of your relationship in your faith. But we also discuss the importance of the church family and having that group of people and having those that you can turn to, those that you can trust, those that you can ask questions of, those that you can count on. So in my lovely job, where I get to watch these children become youth and watch these youth become young adults. And I get to celebrate these amazing life milestones with them. I then kind of thought about this track shirt that I'm wearing as, because today I leave work and go straight to a track meet. So um, thankfully I didn't think I was going anywhere other than our staff meeting. And then I remembered I had all of you. So you get to see me in my t-shirt. But it also reminds me of the all too familiar verse in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, where he says, where Timothy's commission and Paul's departure, um, he says, I have fought the good fight, finished the race, and kept the faith. At last, I'm going on to chapter, or verse 8, at last the champion's wreath is that the champion's wreath that is awarded for righteousness is waiting for me. And I do believe it takes each one of us to support one another through this race and keeping the faith. And it takes each one of us to support these children and to support these youth in helping them 
finish their race, race in faith. Because there are so many things pulling them in so many directions in their daily lives that they need to know their Heavenly Father loves them. Their faith and that grace is always there for them. But it's very hard as a child and as a teenager to trust in just that faith. The faith that you don't see, the faith that you don't know, you just have to trust and that's where we, each one of us steps in, in this race. That's where the village becomes so very important. We are that visualization of faith that helps those teenagers trust and know. We are that support network that helps them finish the strong race as they go through childhood to teenage years, to older youth, to young adult where then they establish their own faith and can start believing in that simple faith. We are that visualization for them. And isn't that such an honor? I consider it a great blessing and honor to know that we can touch so many lives and that we get the opportunity to know these amazing people. I don't know if you were watching Sunday or if you were here in church Sunday, but the youth of our church are remarkable leaders. They are remarkable leaders in agriculture and fine arts and volunteerism and organization. They are amazing. And we get the blessing and the joy and the honor of being a part of their life and helping them continue on in their faith. What an honor is that? And I hope that each of you feel the love of one another and the support of one another because in adulthood, it doesn't get a whole lot easier to continue on that race in faith. And so I hope that we continue to share with one another the support that we can feel each other in our village and that we can help one another continue that race in faith. I hope you have a very blessed week. I hope the sun continues to shine and we can finally feel spring. And I will see you back next Tuesday.